Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Office tip from the IT service. This one's a really quick tip. Let's say you're in Word and you want to select text. Using the mouse we can simply click and drag. Very, very simple. What a lot of people don't realise is that it's also possible to select vertical blocks of text. You see, normally when I click and drag, I select horizontally to the end of the page even if I'm only actually dragging in two or three inches. If I hold down the ALT key, however, I can now, I'm holding ALT, drag and select as much or as little width as I want. So I can select just a couple of inches of text or the whole thing. Holding ALT allows me to do that. Questions asked perhaps why would you ever want to do that? Well, there are two reasons. Number one, you want to create special effects such as stripy documents. If I now select the font colour, I can make that part of my text red. Holding ALT again, I make this part of my text green. And holding ALT one more time, oh, forgot to hold ALT, I can make that part of my text blue. Now that seems pretty cool to me. Actually, that seems pretty pointless to me, but the number of people I've seen get really excited about creating stripy text, it just baffles me. So there you go, that's how you can create stripy text. When would I actually do this? Well, perhaps I've got a different kind of document, one that looks like this. I've got a bulleted list here, essentially, except that instead of bullets, I've got categories on the left and the contents on the right. I want to make all these headings stand out a little bit. I hold Alt. I select my headings vertically and now I can make them stand out. I can change the font colour. I can change the font. And I can change, for example, styles such as italics. So there we go. Maybe you'll like to do that, maybe you won't want to do it, but it's useful to know that you can. Thanks for listening.